Hey Rebels, what's going on? West of an i3 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I am doing the series Windcraft, an MMO RPG server that's epic, and I am partially invisible. Hello. And yeah, so, in the update video I posted last time, I explained that I wanted to do a video like this, and I'm gonna do it right now. So, let's get into it. So, this is the hub. It's a lot different than the last one. The last one was kind of basic. This one looks pretty cool. They got spring sale 20% off. You can choose your uh, lobbies to get in so you don't see every ghosts everywhere. And the people who are um, like this kid, he's not a ghost because he's a VIP. He pays money. And there's parkour and everything. And yeah, it's really cool. And also, if you right click on the compass, you can select your servers. And they're also, which I really love, they're organized by how laggy they are. So, the red, as you can see, like, and how many players there are. So, there's 72 players with 55% lag, which is really cool. I love seeing that. So, you can choose which one. Like, this one has 84 players, but zero lag. This one has 56, 62, and I just try to find the best one. And you just, like, the yellow ones are kind of medium. It, it, it's the best. This is the best system I've ever seen like really thought up well and let's so it seems like 25 is the best right now. sorry about that my uh java adobe thing just like hey let me update and oh um yeah so what okay oh that's cool okay so what's going on here uh you get to choose your class and i've already started i'm level 34 mage and i just wanted to get through it so I could, you know, like, get started and have a, a firm grasping of what's going on, and I do now, and I want to select a new class, and the class I want to do is the Archer class, which looks really cool, you get Arrow Storm, Escape, Bomb, Arrow Shield, and this is actually pretty cool, they, this wasn't like this before, select the class, it's 37 total level, oh, so you can combine all your, alright, okay, that's cool, and uh, the Assassin is a v VIP class, which is really cool, and all of these... Like, before you pushed a button, you didn't know anything about the class. And so you get the chart. So you charge, uppercut, war, scream. I think Archer is the way to go. And you spawn in here. Fellow Archer, how you doing? And... Is my sound... My sounds are on. Okay. Let me just, uh... Shoot this chicken right here. And... Hey! It's my chicken. No. My chicken. So you just sit here and just kill chickens. Because they're cool. I just want to kind of... Snipe some chickens in the face, you know, because I'm just that kind of kid. So it's this guy, Cavern Driver. Uh, I'm gonna step out. Uh, finally, woke up. I was starting to get worried. Our cavern caravan lost its wheel a few hours ago. We will walk the rest of the way on foot. The other passengers went ahead. You should join them. The king is waiting for you. But before you leave, take those emeralds. Take these emeralds and get yourself some armor. It's not always safe around here. Remember to use your spell if you're in danger. We never know what could happen. Yes. So, he, he, he gave me some emeralds, and that's one of my, that's the first quest, and right now, as you can see on my XP bar, it says 1, and I am level 1, and also, the music in the background is the best, like, the server's so cool, they, they made their own music, and to get it into Minecraft, they made it out of juke blocks, no blocks, I mean, it's, oh, it's so cool, love the server. So, right now, I can just kind of farm these chickens, get some XP, but that'll be pretty boring. And occasionally, the mobs do drop emeralds and armor and weapons, which is cool. And the first time actually playing this... Uh, hold on. Does it say anything? No, it doesn't say anything. And also, uh, you have click combos. So whenever you I click right, it says... Whoops, what's going on? So whenever I left, oh, oh, it's left click with an archer. Okay. So whenever I left click with my bow, for other classes it's right click because I'm uh, right. So whenever I left click, it brings up this little thing, and then I can. So that brings up my special skill. So that, so my special skill is rapid fire arrows, which are pretty cool. I can just kind of like he's doing that right now. That's, yeah. So let me grab some armor. I can buy a helmet. Let's strap that baby on. Oh, that looks nice. And then let's kind of just launch our arrows in the face. Yeah, that's cool. 
Alright, so we're gonna go down this road, and yeah, let's see what there is to find. There are a lot of archers here. I got you. Let me just snipe him. Ooh, a bow! Oh, baby, level 7 bow. Rapid fire. Oh, this rapid fire is so cool. Okay, the zombies are focused on him. Let's just help this kid. Leather helmet, it's mine. Oh, no, it's his. Okay. So the thing is with, um... So there's no stealing items. You, uh, whenever an item drops, then, uh, the person who... Uh, what, what, what do you say? The person who last hit the zombie, whoever deserves the item, uh, anyone else can't pick it up, which is pretty cool. So basically, if he dropped a helmet and someone came over and tried to pick it up, they wouldn't be able to, because it's my helmet, which is really cool. And, um, but to give people items, you trade, like I can do slash trade. Uh, no, I can't. I don't know why. It's level 2. Oh man, I want to get to level 2. So let's just kind of... I should probably keep going. There's more zombies ahead. Like this, this is a level 3 zombie. You know, he's tougher. He's got a helmet. My bow's glitching out. What's going on here? And... BOP! Alright, ooh, drop boots. What? Did I get the boots? Okay, I'm good. Oh, I don't... I can't wear the boots. Alright, so... Hi. Grim plays? What do you play? Do you play me? I don't play me. Alright, let's go. Ragnar's king. So let's just... Ah, uh, new recruit, you just arrived in time. Welcome to the province of Wynn. This fort is named Rogni, one of the oldest and most beautiful places you can find. Your job is to stop the growth of the monsters oops, that uh, ravage the province. You might want to stick around until you become more experienced. Many lives are wasted every day. Anyway, good luck. If you are lost, use Windcraft slash map. It is very useful to start. Okay, awesome. So I'm now level 2. And I get a Rogni teleport scroll. With this, I can right click and I will be teleported to Rogni right here. And actually, I will be teleported to that little thing over here. This little kind of alcove, what do you call it? Gazebo. Is there a. What? Yeah, there it is. The soul point right there. A little star. Uh, so from that, I got. I can access the province of Wind, which means I can go outside wherever I want in the map. I got 35 experience points and 14 emeralds. Alright. So, yeah, let's just farm some rats. And as you can see on the ground, those are sticks. What these are, these are mage items. Oops, I kind of threw it out. So, you can. So, like, if I left click on them, I can't use it because it's not an archer item. I have to be an, uh, a mage to use my special item, so I can only use bows. And, yeah, so why are you crying? Yeah, some of them are weird. Some of them spawn with, like, different faces. Kind of cool. And yeah, so what we can do with this, since I'm level 2, I have skill points. So now these are the skills you can use. There's strength, which um, uh, it's a percentage of uh, more damage. So say I left click on this, I will give 1% uh, more damage per hit. So whenever I shoot a bow, it has 1% to do uh, more damage. I don't know what it's based off of. I think, oh, it does 1% more damage per, okay, I understand that. So whenever I shoot, it has um, it does one percent more damage than uh, what it does now. So now uh, double damage, which is dexterity. Uh, whenever I shoot something, it has this amount of chance to do double the damage with one shot. Pretty cool. Intelligence, it adds hunger capacity, which means um, so let's do this. So if I left, right, left, as you can see, my hunger bar went down. It's kind of like a mana source. And whenever I run, it does mana. It's hunger. It's kind of the same thing. And yeah, so you don't need food because it regens automatically, which is cool. And it's kind of like a mana slash hunger bar. And it just uses up your mana whenever you do that. So this adds more. So if I did that, it takes... How much does it take? It takes four hunger. So that's two um, chicken wings down there. Those hunger bars. It takes two of those. And, yeah, so that's that. And then there's defense. Uh, less damage received, so it's just like an armor pass-up thing. Um, and chance of dodging all armor damage. What? That says damage. Yes, it does. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do strength and dexterity. Because I'm an archer, I don't need no defense because I'm agile. 
and I can attack things. So what we're gonna do now, since we're low level, I'm gonna start farming. So I wanna get to level three so I can put on my boots. So I'm gonna. There's a big. Ooh, did you just poop that out? That's disgusting. Ah, how'd you? All right. So right now I'm just gonna farm these zombies, and you get hit in the face. All right. So because these get zombies give you how much XP? Nine XP. And since I'm low level, it's a lot easier to level up when you're low level than when you're high level because logic so i'm gonna oh there's a massive swarm or a couple of zombies over there and usually this is filled up with a um a healthy amount of zombies every so often so it takes about two shots to kill these guys and what i've noticed um uh, my friend red dragon we play on the server what i've noticed that um oh wait what I shoot two arrows? Oh, that's sick. But they're kind of off to the side. Oh, that's pretty cool. I shoot two arrows, apparently. Um, yeah, so what were we saying? So, Red Drag. Oh, the undead. That's a zombie boss that spawns randomly. So, let's. That's just kind of. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face with my bow. Oh, I hope you die. I really do, so I can... I want the kill on this guy. No, get out of the way. Oh, the emeralds. Give me the emeralds. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, let's take them all out. I don't know why I'm jumping with my bow. It's just kind of... Let's kill you. Oh, I guess the arrows, when I do that, um... That rapid-fire shot doesn't do as much damage. So, yeah. So, what was I saying? Um, Red Dragon. I can kind of throw this away. I'm level 3. I'm put on my boat. So, me and Red Dragon, uh, I've noticed that the bows do a lot more damage than the mage weapons. Like, for their level. Like, um, some of his items did, like, 30 to 40 damage, when mine did 29 to 30 damage. It was just something like that. Okay, now I'm level 4. So basically just farming it up here. And also, if we click on this quest book, I have Enzin's Broth, Cook's Assistant, and Prison Story. So let's look at Enzin's brother. Uh, talk to Enzin close to the exit of Rockney, which he is over here. And can I... This is a level 7 bow. What am I doing? Okay, that's the assassin class. It's kind of assassin-like. So let's kind of stab these people in the face. Hello? You, you like dying? Thank you. Okay. Oh gosh, it's a swimming zombie run! Oh my gosh, he's... That's... Oh, that's creepy. Alright, let's run. There's Enzin. We're gonna... I don't want to read all of this. Uh, I see you want to adventure to the wilderness. Uh, if you guys want to read it, you can pause it here. Right there, you can read that. I just want to get going with this. Four are new skill points. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna go up for strength and uh, dexterity, set and intelligence, and agility. Right. So, what we want to do, find Enzin's brother. Okay, I know where he is. He's all the way down through uh, the forest. I forget what it's called. And yeah, so this server is really big. It's a great community. Uh, people from everywhere, you know, partnership. I don't see any bad language. I don't see anyone, like, messing around with people. Everyone's pretty calm, low-key about this. Low-key, it's just kind of like, you know, not too insane with the server. Pretty cool. And it's just, all around, just fun. Ooh, iron sword. Watch this, I'm just gonna snipe him in the face, you know? Never knew hit him. So now, what, down here, this is a pig zombie cave. Hey, I'm just gonna do that. And level 15 pig zombies come around. Come around the town. And you can just farm down here, and there's a... Basically, this is all about, um... Oh, he took it down! This, um... This game is mainly about grinding XP. Oh no, I'll save you! No, now you're okay. You, you owe me that chest plate. Okay. So, yeah. So, this game, you have to grind to get XP. Basically, what I'm doing is grinding. You have to just... Is my... But okay, no, it's not. I thought it was wearing down. So basically, you just gotta just keep keep.
killing mobs and just get XP from it. That's basically what you do, because eventually you will run out of quests, and that will be the end of that. So, like, uh, on the mage quest, my level 34, there's a quest I have to do at Craftmas time, which is Christmas, December, area, yes, that time frame, and yeah, so I can't do it for a while, and, ooh, ooh, shears, yummy, yeah, so, uh, I'm just going to be giving you guys some tips, to, and I hope you guys check out this. If you're enjoying so far, please leave a like. That really helps me out. And I'll just try to get through this quick and simple, nice and easy, all day, every day. Yeah, so, let's try this out. So we're just going to travel down. I'm going to shoot this guy in the face, because, I don't know, because I can. Um, and I'm almost out of hunger, now I can't sprint. So what I want to do, Therek, that's his brother. Um, yeah, so, I had to find him, now he gave me red powder, and here's a new topic to talk about. So, red powder, um, it puts fire on weapons and blast protection on armor. So, what you can do with this, I just take my bow, and I put the red powder in the crafting table, and now it has fire aspect. Or what I can do, I can take my boots, put it in the crafting table, what? I can take my boots, put it in the crafting table, now they have blast protection. It's simple as that. And you only get one of these when you talk to him, because now, you know, he's not a he's not a red powder factory. Because, you know, that's just too much work for him. So now we're level 5, we have more skill points, and I want to put these on uh, strength and agility. Agility just dodges damage, so basically if I'm just sitting next to the zombie, he's hitting me like, he's hitting me almost every time, and if my agility's up, then I can just dodge his attacks, which, if I'm standing still, you know, it's, I don't know how it works, but there's a chance that he doesn't hurt me, which is cool, you know, I like that, and health potion, you know, when you drink, I can drink this right now, and I would have no need for health potions as a mage, because one of the special skills, which is my rapid arrow attack, one of those skills is a healing spell, which is really cool, so I never need health potions. Which I can just throw- I usually just keep two just in case, you know, in case um, I'm out of hunger, something like that. But with this, I'm def- oh, level 10. With this, I'm- with this class, I'm definitely gonna need health potions, because I don't have a healing spell. I have rapid arrows, which will actually keep them at bay. I will have to move back a little bit to use it, though. Still okay. So I'm just gonna kill these zombies. Almost level 6. You, um, you level up really fast with low levels, because, you know, that's how the game's played. And I'm actually going to die, so, uh, I'm just going to kind of camp up here, and, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of kill these zombies, you know, like, it's no big deal, because I'm cool, just that kind of kid, is that it? No, that's a wand. And also, one thing to note when you're playing this, uh, you, there's, um, Whenever you kill something, it drops something, like I said, drops a weapon or armor, and if you, so say I'm an archer, I'm an archer class right now, it, there's a, um, there's a better chance of dropping a, um, a warrior, assassin, or mage weapon than there is an archer weapon. It's just how it is, so, like, I ha I found, like, three wands so far, or three staffs, whatever, you can call it whatever you want call them staffs or wands or sticks you know and so there's just a worse chance of getting it and yeah it's just how it is which is kind of okay you know that's how it is anyways so we're just gonna farm here oh yeah i forgot i'm level six so i'm gonna use my skill points on dexterity and uh, let's put it on defense let's just even them all out right now so this is a potion potion merchant not potion so I can buy potions from him. Potion feeling one. Oh dear! No, thank you. Oops. Let's just kinda stab him in the face and see archer weapons or what? Assassin weapons, yeah. Alright, so until I am level ten or until I uh have nothing else to do. Oh, wrong thing. Ooh, a bow. Awesome. Level six bow, six to ten damage. I will use that because I'm level six. So now I do more damage and I can one shot things. Which is pretty, f like, it's only level 6, it's 6 to 10 damage. But the other one is 4 to 6 damage. Oh, the undead. Get wrecked. And, um, I'm 
not sure if... Oh, come on. Good night. Good night. Wow. Taking my emeralds. What are you doing? Alright, so now, next topic. So this guy is the item identifier. What you can do with unique items like this, if I right click on them with it, I can identify it, which puts on, let me just test it, it's seven emeralds, not too much. So I've put seven emeralds in here. Uh, it puts plus seven percent spell damage, which is, um, if I do, that's a spell. So any click combo is a spell, and so that's plus plus seven percent more damage to it, which is good, and yeah. So, oh, excuse me. So what it also does, uh, you can put on... Are oh, you trying to duel me or trade me? What also it does, you can put on... Um, you can put on a loot bonus, which uh, you have a higher chance of getting rare, unique, or legendary items. Which, um, the rarer they are, uh, the higher protection or damage they do with the level it is. So since it's a unique item, it does more damage for its level. Stop. No, get out of here. I want to duel you. This guy's level 7, I'm only level 6, that would be unfair. And also you can duel people, you can shift left click or do slash duel. And it's basically, you can um, just have little competitions with your friends or whoever you want. Like you can say, hey I'm so cool. Wait, what? Friends, it's awful. Alright, so you can say, like I'm so cool, I can, I can um, you know, I can just duel you and like, you have to give me emeralds if I win. And we'll be like, alright, well, yeah. So yeah. So we're just doing this. And what's really cool, uh, you can check what, um, it says left at the bottom. Which means I started the, uh, the skill, or the started the spell. And yeah, so let's just keep going with this. So the next quest we're gonna do is Cook's Assistant, which is page two. We gotta talk to the cook, and we'll get it on. And also, one thing to note, once you're done with all of Rogni has to offer, once you're done with everything... Uh, you can go to the other cities in uh, Debtless, or Deltas, however you want to call it. I call it Debtless, or I used to call it Deltas, but then Debtless came around, and like, everyone's like, Hey, it's Debtless, and I'm like, well, that's not cool. Like, once you call something, once you start calling something a name, and they tell you it's wrong, well, you just can't, you know, switch over. It takes time. So, alright, let's go to the cook. He's over here. And also, I know what you're thinking. Kill the villagers. Well... Even though they're level 5, they're unkillable. Unless you're really high level. I actually saw someone kill a villager. He was level 75, and it was intense. He just... Like, they have a regen, like, 20 effect. And you have to kill them faster than they regen, which is really hard to do. So we're gonna do We're gonna talk to the cook. Can't believe it's happening to me. Uh, the king wanted to make me a cake. Unfortunately, I do not have the ingredients. So I gotta go get two eggs, one bucket of milk, and three wheat. Alright, let's go. So we're gonna travel over to, um, hold on, let me pull up the map really quick. Can I, right, I will be right back.